Hi, Robert Anthony here for Tuts Plus. The Apple iPad is quickly reserving its place among traditional and newer mobile producers alike. In this tutorial, I'll explain two key features built into iOS 7, audio copy and inner app audio. So what is audio copy? Audio copy functions just like copying and pasting for text. Audio copy allows you to render out an audio file and then open it in another app, all within your iPad. Before audio copy, you would have to do this via iTunes with the Share via iTunes option. If an app supports audio copy, you'll see an option for audio copy in the app's Share, Save, or Export dialog. You may also find the random app that uses non-conventional namings, such as Add to Pasteboard, which is essentially what it's doing. On the other side, the counter feature to audio copy is appropriately named Audio Paste. An app can support one or both features, but most developers use audio copy to refer to both. Once you've saved the audio file via audio copy, you can then open it in any other app that supports audio paste. The way you do this will depend on the app that you are using. Let's have a look at a few examples of how you may find yourself performing audio copy in various workflows. Inside of Core Gadget, I've created a drum groove that I want to copy over into another music app. In the export options here, you'll see audio copy at the bottom of the list. Selecting audio copy will render out an audio file, then give you options to preview and name the file. If you tap on copy audio, this particular app will give you a notification saying that it's been successfully copied to the iOS clipboard. Let's add this drum groove to the TRG16 sampler inside of Nano Studio. Now, Nano Studio is one of the earliest DAW apps available on the App Store, so its workflow is a bit different than newer apps. You have to use the built in file browser. I'll click on Edit, and then I'll click Load. And this brings us to the built in file browser. I'll add a new folder for organization. Then I'll select Paste. Here, you can see our available samples to import from the iOS clipboard. You'll notice that the name I gave it back in Core Gadget didn't carry over. If you actually look here, you can see that it's using Sonoma, which is actually a sort of precursor to audio copy. Click Load, and then OK, and the sample has been successfully imported into Nano Studio. The sample can now be loaded and used inside of the app. Let's have a look at another app. Inside of GarageBand, you can simply tap on an audio track and select Paste. I'll create a new audio recorder track, and then I'll tap Paste. And you can see here that the audio file has been pasted into GarageBand. So that's audio copy. Really simple, really intuitive. You're basically copying and pasting audio files. Now, Inner App Audio, or IAA for short, takes the concept further by allowing audio applications to virtually connect audio outputs to audio inputs across different apps. Like I said, there was a short time after audio apps for iOS became popular but before inner app audio or even audio copy were introduced, when you had to manually sync audio files via iTunes to share them between apps. With inner app audio, you can now have a workflow that is vaguely similar to the concept of plugins and how they work on a desktop, in that you have a host app and you have a plugin app. On iPad, the app that's feeding its audio into another app is referred to as a node. This node will feed its audio signal directly into the host app, removing the need for manual sharing or even manual bouncing like with audio copy. Inside of GarageBand, if you also have any audio apps that support inner app audio, you'll see an option in the Instruments Selection view 
for InterApp Audio apps. Selecting this option will show you a list of all apps that are available under the two selections, Instruments and Effects. Selecting an app will launch it. Now you'll notice that we have a basic transport overlay from GarageBand. If you go back to GarageBand by tapping on the icon here, we can see what the app has done for us. It's created a new audio recorder track, and it's inserted the selected app as the inner app audio node. You can also do all of this manually. Select the audio recorder instrument from the instruments view, and you'll notice the inner app audio icon in the upper left corner. Tapping the icon will give you the same list of instruments and effects to choose from that we saw earlier, as well as other various options like a noise gate. If you select one, you'll see the iOS status bar turn red to indicate that the app has launched in the background. And again, tapping on the app icon will take you over to the app. Now, I'm sure some of you picked up on this, but just to clarify, this is recording audio, not MIDI. While Virtual MIDI does exist in iOS, I haven't actually seen any DAW apps that make use of it in a traditional way, sending MIDI information to the Node app, then recording the audio back into the host. So to record using InterApp Audio, you simply tap on the record button, then play your passage. Once you're done recording, you can go back to the host app and see and edit the recorded audio file. I'm gonna record a little passage. Now, due to the AirPlay software that I'm using to record this video, there's horrible latency, but I should be able to get the concept across. <laughs> So there we go, and if we go back into GarageBand, we can see that the audio has been recorded and you can now use and edit it. While both InterApp Audio and Audio Copy are built into iOS, it's up to the individual developers to add functionality to their apps. And again, aside from a few constants like the transport overlay in the Node app, the way that you go about using each of these capabilities will vary slightly from app to app. The best and really only way that I've found to tell if a specific app supports either of these capabilities is to read through the description in the App Store or in iTunes. With every new hardware and software update, iPad brings a host of new capabilities to the music making world. Features such as Audio Copy and InterApp Audio are bringing full desktop class functionality to the mobile device world, making it a great addition to, or even replacement for, a traditional desktop workflow. This is Robert Anthony for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.